This is Weezer, and today we're reviewing the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. The Galaxy Note 7 is a true joy to hold in your hand. Both the front and the back of the device uses curved edges to make holding it very comfortable. Starting at the top of the Note, we have a SIM card and SD card reader tray that is expandable up to 256 gigabytes of external storage. On the left hand side, we have two metal volume up and down buttons, and on the right hand side, we have one metal power button. On the bottom of the phone, there is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a new USB type C charger port for quicker charging and faster data transfers. We have speaker holes, and of course, the Note series S Pen. Worth noting about this device is the durability of the Gorilla Glass 5. Around the web, testing has confirmed that Gorilla Glass 5 to be quite durable, albeit very scratch prone. In fact, this is more scratch prone than Gorilla Glass 4 or even Gorilla Glass 3, so it is highly recommended to get a screen protector. Getting into the operating system of the phone, we find Samsung's latest version of its TouchWiz flavor of Android. While in large, it is mostly the same as the S6 and S7 versions, there are a few brand new features specifically tailored for the Note 7. The new battery saving mode is quite impressive due to the fact that it actually changes the resolution of the screen in order to save battery. You have the option of bumping it down to either 1080p or 720p, and to go even further, you can customize whether you want to inhibit performance or not. One feature I do miss from my S6 Edge is the ability to trigger battery saver mode based on percentage of battery life left. Also, bumping the resolution down can sometimes have strange effects on other features of the phone. The fingerprint reader that was introduced with the Galaxy S5 is back, and it is quicker than ever. New to the Galaxy line is the Note 7's iris scanner that, while I may not use as often as the fingerprint scanner, it is still nice to have for those times when water or pizza sauce is on my fingers. The camera found on the Note 7 is probably the best I've seen on a smartphone. It uses the same 12 megapixel lens found in the Galaxy S7, which is a very good thing. The wide aperture of the camera allows for the best low light shots found on a mobile device. With this and the new iPhone out there, I think this year will be great for apps such as Snapchat and Instagram. Without any more boring talk, I'll let the videos speak for themselves.
Another new feature that the Galaxy Note 7 brings to the mobile world is the inclusion of an HDR screen. This 1440p screen from Samsung is the first HDR screen to be available on a mobile device. And my god is it beautiful. Currently there is limited content available in HDR, however Amazon Prime, Netflix, and YouTube have some available. To get around this, Samsung has included a setting on the Note 7 to make everything look as though it is using HDR, and it is so named Video Enhancer. Regular videos and pictures never looked so good. The Note 7 isn't a perfect device. The iPhone 7 has already outpaced it when it comes to raw CPU speed, and it isn't a huge leap from last year's model. But there is no denying that the Note 7 is a premium device with the latest features technology has to offer. The strongest additions to the Note 7 are the HDR screen and the IP68 water resistance, allowing users to get the phone wet. The battery life is very acceptable, as I was able to get through a day of medium to heavy usage. In short, the Galaxy Note 7 is a very good device with a lot of new and exciting features. If you are in the market for a new Android phone, as of now, this is the best 2016 has to offer. Thanks for watching this video on the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 review. If you liked it, please hit the link below to subscribe and I'll see you next time.